Hello and welcome back. Today we will start lecture 9-1 on discrete time systems design state equations. The objectives for today's lecture are that students should be able to use sampling plants with zero order holds to find a discrete time transfer function from a continuous time plant, and the students should be able to find the transfer function for a discrete time system, and then to also find discrete time state equations. The discrete time state equations have x of kt as the state vector, u of kt as the input vector, y of kt as the output vector, and the c, d, g, and h matrices. Note that c and d are the same as the c and d for continuous time state equations. These matrices are constants in a time invariant system. The state equations and block diagram for the state variable model for the plant are shown in figure one. Similar to before, you have the input u of k multiplied by h that goes to a summer, and it's the sum of u of k times h plus g times x of k. Now the distinction here is that now instead of having derivatives and integrals, we're going to have differences in time. So the output of the summer is actually x of k minus one, and you delay that to get x of k, multiply by c, and you sum that with du of k to get y of k. The continuous time state equations are given by x dot of t equals ax of t plus bu of t, and y of t equals cx of t plus du of t. The general solution for the state is given by x of t is equal to e to the a t minus t naught x of t naught plus the integral from t naught to t e to the a t minus lambda b u of lambda d lambda. And the solution phi of t is equal to e to the a t or the inverse Laplace of si minus a inverse. So for discrete time solutions, the state equation is x of k plus 1t equals g x of kt plus h u of kt, and the output y of kt equals c x of kt plus d u of kt, where g is equal to e to the a t, remember t is the sampling period, and h is equal to integral from 0 to t, e to the a lambda d lambda b. The general solution for the states is now given by x of k plus 1t, which equals e to the a k plus 1t minus kt, x of kt, plus the integral from kt to k plus 1t, e to the a k plus 1t minus lambda, b u of kt d lambda. Finally, to find the transfer function given a state variable equation, use the following equations for continuous time and discrete time. gp of s is equal to c times si minus a inverse times b. gp of z is equal to c times zi minus g inverse times h. The poles of the discrete time system are given by the determinant of zi minus g or the roots of the characteristic equation delta of z equal to the determinant of zi minus g set equal to zero. The poles of the discrete time system are also referred to as the eigenvalues of the g matrix. If all of the poles of the discrete time system are at the origin, it is a deadbeat system. This is the fastest possible response of a discrete time system, but it may require a large control effort. In class activity one, compute the discrete time state model for the system described by the following continuous time double integrator state variable model, x dot of t is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, x of t plus 0, 1, u of t, and y of t equals 1, 0, x of t. So the first thing we're going to do is find si minus a, which equals s, 0, 0, s, minus zero one zero zero so si minus a is s negative one zero s then we find the inverse of si minus a which equals one over the determinant of this two by two which is one over s squared then you swap the first and third term, first and fourth terms, and you negate the second and third term. So that's one over s squared times s one zero s, or one over s, one over s squared, zero, one over s. So then we find e to the at, which is the inverse Laplace transform of SI minus A inverse, which equals one T zero one. 
u of t. So the G matrix for the discrete time system is e to the a capital T, which is the sampling period, or 1 t 0 1 u of t. And h is equal to the integral from 0 to t e to the a lambda d lambda b, which equals the integral from 0 to t 1 lambda 0 1 d lambda and that result multiplied by 0 1 so we get here t t squared over 2 0 t times 0 1 and finally h is equal to t squared over t 2 t So, x of k plus 1 t is equal to g x of k t plus h u of k t and y of k t equals c x of k t plus d u of k t. So our final answer would be x1 of k plus 1t, x2 of k plus 1t is equal to 1t01 times x1 of k, x2 of k plus t squared over 2 t u of kt and y of kt is equal to 1 0 x1 of kt x2 of kt